When Jesus started his public ministry, many people thought that uh, he must be the one, as promised in the Old Testament, the Savior, the Messiah. But uh, during the time, John the Baptist has uh, his own followings, and many other people thought that it was John the Baptist who is the Messiah. But uh, John would say, no, I'm not the one. There is somebody greater than me. I'm not even fit to wear his sandals, to unfit his sandals. And he will tell to, to the world that there is somebody. That's why John is called the, the cursor, precursor of Christ. He been pointed to Jesus. And when he said, I must decrease, he must increase. And he announced to the world about the coming of the Savior. That's why he is called the herald of Christ, the herald of the Savior. So that when Jesus was doing his public ministry, especially his healing ministry, some followings of uh, St. John would come to Jesus. And as we heard in the gospel, they were asking, are you the one? Or somebody else would, would come other than you, the expected Messiah. Because until now, a lot of uh, Jewish people are still waiting for the Messiah. And Jesus said, tell John what you have seen and what you have heard. By that time, Jesus has healed a lot of people. He became popular because of his healing ministry. The, the blind can see, lames can walk. The, uh, those people who are inf inflicted with, the, with leprosy were healed. And when you say you are a leper, you cannot touch him because you are considered unclean. But when, once Jesus would heal the, 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 the leper, he would uh, tell him, go and show yourself to the priest, not to the doctor, because leprosy is associated with uncleanness within your spirit, within your soul. That means you are morally unclean. So go to the priest. The priest can testify that you're healed spiritually, morally in the internal aspect of your being. And Jesus is able to raise life. So tell John the Baptist what you have seen and heard. And this is the reason why John the Baptist started to proclaim to the world, he is the one. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his path. For the past few days, we have been preparing for the way of the coming of the Messiah. And we are inspired by the words of St. John the Baptist, who proclaimed to the world that he is the one, not me. And let us prepare not only physically, not only externally, but also most importantly, internally. And this is the, the spirit of Advent. It's not yet Christmas, although we start to prepare with these decorations. But liturgically, as you will notice, we still wear violet or pur purple. And the last Sunday, of course, because of the shift of the focus on the first coming of Jesus, which is the baby Jesus, it was an excitement, a joy, a heightened expectation of the coming of the Savior. That's why pink or rose means joyful excitement, joyful waiting for the coming of Jesus. But we have to prepare internally, the right conduct of preparing for the Savior is our gift to Him within our hearts, within our soul. And this we can bring the good news, this message of St. John. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight His path within us. Tell this good news to your friends, to your neighbor, and to your family. God bless you.